Welcome back, everybody, to Fire Your MD Now Radio. We are live. Mike Phillip filling in for Dr. Peter Glidden, coming at you live from central Alberta in the little old prairie town of Camrose. Call in line is one 844 or sorry, one 844 Once again, 844-5433. So it's been a really interesting week, I got to tell you. Um, we had a meeting last night and, uh, we packed the old Smith clinic waiting room here in Camrose. There was about, I don't know, 30, 40 people, something like that. And I started out with meetings at a little coffee shop at a place called Fiona's and more and more people started coming and we had to move to a separate location. Well, now that location is getting full. So we talk about the mission of longevity to help us get our community and our countrymen's health back without drugs and surgery. People are always asking, how do you do it? How do you get the message out? People are slow to hear. They have a rough time with new information. They have a hard time believing that doctor, my good buddy from way back, would ever steer me wrong. Well, the fact is, a lot of times they just don't know. You know, fair enough, they're good at what they're trained in, like the Nazis. Here's the deal. People are looking for real information, and they're looking for a way out. People want a way out. Chronic disease and pain is a prison. And if you know somebody, and chances are you do, let us know. And here's the other thing. I'm meeting a whole lot of people that have gotten their health back in huge ways. Every single day, you want a friend for life? Help them fix their chronic arthritis. Help them fix their wife's health. You know what I mean? Help them get on top of a really nasty infection. Right? We don't cure anything. We don't treat anything. We just give you the right information to take the ball in your own hands and play the game. Now, people ask me, how do you get people out to meetings? The answer is simple. Get on the field and do something. Get out and do something. Talk to people. I had no idea that it was going to grow when I just went and talked to the owner of that coffee shop. You know, you listen to a lot of doom and gloom. There's the VA scandal. There's Benghazi. There's scandals in the Canadian government and in the UK. And, and you know, people talk about it. But at the end of the day, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? You got some kind of positive contributing role? Or are you just going to cry and whine? Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I got my health and my mind back. And I'm helping my community and my countrymen do the same thing. Now, a little while back, we had Mike Rivero on the radio show talking about SSRIs. And this is really interesting. I found this article in Global News Edmonton, and and it's actually out of Winnipeg. Edmonton's reporting it, though. Manitoba judge says there's strong evidence the smoking cessation drug Champix was behind an assault by a Canadian soldier. Canadian Forces member Malcolm Gallant, 30, pleaded guilty earlier this year to assault and careless use of a firearm. The charges stem from 2011 when he choked his girlfriend and took guns to their neighbor's house. During Gallant's sentencing hearing this week, Justice Sean Greenberg said this behavior was extremely out of character. She also referred to studies showing Champex is associated with aggression and violence toward others, as well as letters of support from his girlfriend and colleagues. So this guy was not known to do this sort of thing. But he probably went to his doctor and mentioned that he smoked or the doctor smelled it on him and said, hey, why don't you try this? And if he hadn't seen the commercial or done any research and trusted Dr. My Good Buddy for a long time, this probably wouldn't have happened. So Judge Greenberg gave Gallant a conditional discharge, which means if he obeys the rules of his release for one year, he won't have a criminal record. Okay, so you got that. 
right? Now we go over to the Toronto Star. And wouldn't you know it, Health Canada tight-lipped on Champix suicides. I'd rather smoke a pack a day than take this stuff. And this is coming from Health Canada, the same people that got to keep you safe from vitamin supplements and other dangerous, awful things that have never harmed or killed anybody since Confederation. A star investigation has found smoking cessation drug Champax is among the leading suspected causes of reported suicides linked to prescription drugs. And Health Canada won't say whether it has investigated cases like 22-year-old Heidi's Pfizer Canada. The drugs manufacturer says its benefits outweigh the risk. That's just the headline. Let's get into this, shall we? Heidi Clow was on a health kick. 22-year-old Canadian Navy steward worked out religiously during her foreign deployment with a tactical team that boarded vessels and searched for contraband. She watched what she ate and studied the labels of any medication she or friends were taking. When a doctor told her she shouldn't be smoking while on birth control, she decided to try to quit. She was prescribed Champix, popular smoking cessation drug, in June 2009. Have you noticed they use this, the word cessation a lot? Weeks later, when she returned home to Victoria, B.C., Heidi's mother noticed her daughter's trademark smile had disfigured itself into a scowl. She was irritable and short-tempered. The night Pat Clow last saw her daughter alive, she was smiling again and off to a friend's house for a Saturday night of poker and drinking. The date was October 3rd, 2009. Sounds like a good night to me. Later that evening, alone in her apartment, Heidi found ground up aspirin and sinus medication in a magic bullet, mixed them into a protein shake and killed herself. Well, here's the deal. She was on the Champex to begin with, Right? And she also was on aspirin and sinus medication. And I've actually known people that took sinus medication and had a few drinks. And, you know, they wound up, they had, they had no clue where they were. So she mixed up this protein shake of aspirin and sinus medication and killed herself. Now, this is the interesting part. A pharmacist notified Health Canada about Heidi Cloud's suicide through an adverse reaction report, a tool the federal regulator says it uses to monitor the safety of drugs once they're on the market. For suspected cause, the pharmacist wrote Champex. No mention of the uh, alcohol and sinus medication on top of it. Heidi wasn't the first. A star investigation has found 24 Canadians taking Champex to quit smoking have killed themselves since they hit the market here in 2007, putting it among the leading suspected causes of reported suicides linked to prescription drugs. And you can just bet, you can just bet that that's a low ball figure because they were actively hiding it. Now listen to this. The True Watchdog says it actively monitors side effect reports, but the star found no indication Health Canada has investigated individual cases of psychiatric side effects since it took into 14 cases, uh, since it looked into 14 cases of aggression, depression, and suicidal thoughts from 2007. So there's probably been a lot of people out there that went all squirrely on this and just barely made it through, and those weren't reported. Data analysis by the star found the number of reported cases of people having suicidal thoughts while taking Champix, about 235, is nearly three times as high as the next drug. Now, you got to remember, there's other drugs out there, right? This is hardly the worst one. I mean, they're lowballing figures on it, obviously. When you have something like this, it does behoove investigators to study it more fully and ascertain if, in fact, it's, this signal is accurate, said Dr. Peter Selby, Chief of Addictions in Toronto Centre of Addiction for Mental Health. I wonder, how, I wonder how long he went to school to figure that out. Pfizer Canada, the drug's manufacturer in Health Canada, says its benefits outweigh the risk and that side effect reports show only a suspected common between a drug and an adverse reaction, but no proof one caused the other. 
Selby says, Champex is an effective medication, especially for smokers who have tried unsuccessfully to quit through other means to overcome something that's killing them. Well, you know what? I've known a few people actually in my little sphere of influence here that tried this drug to quit smoking and they quit right away because they said that they had crazy, crazy, crazy dreams and guess what? Suicidal thoughts. Now, they were able to quit right away and walk away because they didn't like where it took them. But how many people weren't? This is the question. So they know. <clears throat> they know. Health Canada, the people that tell us here in the Great White North that they're on the ball and looking out for our best interest, they let these drugs slip by but they put extra close scrutiny on vitamins, minerals, amino fatty acid, herbs, uh, you know, and, and, and actually, I take back what I just said. They don't put extra close scrutiny on it because it's actually working. Well, you know, maybe they did and that's why. Maybe that's why. Listen to this. Health Canada acknowledges that side effects are underreported. Reporting for doctors, nurses, and pharmace pharmacists is voluntary. Several medical experts told the Star the federal government should make it mandatory for doctors to report serious side effects. <laughs> Star investigation found Champex had the largest number of reported violent reaction cases of all drugs. And that's just in Canada, and we got a pretty small population compared to our neighbors in the South. Mike Phillips filling in for Dr. Peter Glidden. Back after this, don't take Champex. Welcome back to Fire Your MD Now. Mike Phillips filling in for Dr. Peter Glidden. And uh, before I go to calls, it's Friday, and I want to play something fun for you. We were talking about some serious side effects of drugs, and it almost becomes a joke after a while. And, you know, but the, the fact is when people are under neutrified, and then you throw a crazy uh, serotonin reuptake inhibitor into the mix. Serious consequences can happen, but let's look at the lighter side of it, and then we're going to go to calls. Roll the clip. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Man, it is so cool to be back together with these guys doing this, you know? I swear. Because this is a group where I know I fit in, you know? <laughs> Because the way the world is now, you can be part of a group and not even know you're a part of a group until you read about it or see it on TV. And I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. My wife and I, we, we love watching like uh, Dateline 2020, those shows. And, but you know how every week they will, they will feature a disease? It, it, and I swear to you, every week, no matter what the disease is, my wife has it. <laughs> There'll be three people on the planet that have this disease. My wife is one of them. She just watches it going... I've got it. I have every one of those symptoms. I'm like, you do not have testicular cancer. You don't even have testiculars. But they made us such a bunch of paranoid nuts, you know, because when, when I was growing up, there were two medicines in the world. You had aspirin and camphophonique. That, that's all there was. Now there's so many medicines, they got this prescription stuff that they advertise on TV, and I swear, half the time, the side effects are 50 times worse than what the medicine cures. <laughs> like, try new Floraflor for itchy, watery eyes, it's Floraflor. Side effects may include nausea, vomiting, water weight gain, lower back pain, receding hairline, eczema, seborrhea, psoriasis, itching, chafing clothing, liver spots, blood clots, ringworm, excessive body odor, uneven tire wear, pyorrhea, gonorrhea, diarrhea, halitosis, scoliosis, loss of bladder control, hammer toe, the shanks, low sperm count, warped floors, cluttered drawers, hunchback, heart attack, low resale value on your home. Feline leukemia, athlete's foot, head lice, club foot, MS, MD, VD, fleas, anxiety, sleeplessness, drowsiness, poor gas mileage, tooth decay, parvo, warts, unibrow, lazy eye, fruit flies, chest pains, clogged veins, hemorrhoids, dry heaving, and sexual dysfunction. I'm watching 
watching it going, you know what? I'll just have itchy, watery eyes. <laughs> and you know what? You don't even have to have itchy, watery eyes either. Let's go over to take some calls now. We're going to, uh, we got Sue in Kansas, Vanessa, Cindy in Saskatchewan, Nada in Idaho. I see you there. Hang on. And we want to talk to every single one of you. Let's start out with Sue in Kansas. How you doing, Sue? Hi, Michael Phillips. How are you? Well, I'm doing all right. It's a rare, nice day up here in Alberta. It's not bad down here in Kansas. Good to hear. What's on your mind today? Well, you know what? I was going to ask you other questions, but I do want to know about, um, I called and talked to you last week, and you told me to get some liquid glucogel. And after I got off the phone, because of my digestion and gas and bloat, I think I had it before I started doing the glucogel capsules. I went ahead and ordered some liquid glucogel, though. And I don't know if um, I'm AB negative blood type, and I don't know. I just heard Dr. Wallach tell somebody with um, thyroid problems, which I, I've never been on any kind of medication, but I am, I am, um, I am, my dad had thyroid, my sister's on Synthroid, but I don't do any of that stuff. But he said don't eat fresh fruits and juices and stuff, and I eat, I like fruit more than vegetables. So okay, well, I don't stop. know if that has anything to do with my digestion. Well, you know what? Um, what what exactly are you taking again? Refresh my memory. I am doing I'm doing um, Healthy Star Pack 2.0. I'm doing mm-hmm. 15 glucogel a day, six selenium a day, two three times a day. Now, do, am I? I don't always take these vitamins with meals. Is that okay? You know what? That's fine. It's actually better on an empty stomach. I hear the music. We got a commercial coming up. We're going to jump back over to you after this, Sue. Mike Phillip filling in for Dr. Glenn back after this. Never has a truer song been written. I don't want to work. I want to play the drums all day. And I do happen to be a drummer. And yeah, I'd love to get paid to play the drums all day. That'd be great. But actually, I, I really like doing this as well. I got to say, like I, like I said, I love seeing people get over health issues. And the majority that I come into contact and really make a, a genuine effort of changing a few things in their life, you know, they might hit a few snags along the way. But if you stick around long enough and make a few minor adjustments on the way, I've seen it happen for them and it can happen for you. And speaking of which, let's go back over to Sue in Kansas. Now, Sue, uh, you were just telling me everything that you're on and you were saying that you don't believe that the glucogel is causing the gas issues. I don't think so. I mean, because I think I had it before I ever started taking the longevity products. Okay, so... But I have lost like 30 pounds in four months just doing the minerals and I'm going off gluten and... 30 pounds in four months? And not even trying. I went from 151 to 121, and I don't... Come on, Sue. Come on. You you were out running marathons. Don't don't put me on. No, I am not. I am. I do like to work. I do a lot of yard work, but I don't do pumping. I don't. I don't run. I don't walk. I don't know. Well, that's how it happens. I've seen the same thing in people around me. So it's just the gas issue. Are you taking any any kind of digestive products? Well, you know what I'm taking because I only now. Okay. I am not hungry a lot of the time. I make myself eat two eggs every morning, but before I do that, I take a couple enzymes yeah. just and some other things, but, you know, like maybe 15 or 20 minutes before I eat breakfast. And then, at not, see, I think one of my things is I'm a late-night person. Mm-hmm. I'm an early-morning person and a late-night person, and I will stay outside doing yard work till 9.30, 10 o'clock at night until I can't see anymore. And I'll mm-hmm. come in and I'll I'll take a few bites of like almond butter, and then I'll read for a little bit, and then I'll go to bed. And I'm thinking I'm probably just fermenting the whole time I'm sleeping. All right. So, well, yeah. let, you know what? Just try dropping a couple of things from your regular diet, and make just a few minor adjustments and see what happens. I don't eat anything, Michael Phillips. All I eat. Okay, I'll tell you. I eat. You said yogurt. you're eating almond butter. Should try getting rid of that. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're asking, the, you're asking for the moon. <laughs> <laughs> the moon is eating water. That's pretty important to you. Yes. When I, what about, um, I do like like farmer's cheese and 
uh, sliced almonds. I like those together. I've given up crackers and chips. I don't do anything because it's got all those oils in them. Hey, have you ever tried taking your OsteoFX before you go to bed? Um, now, I do the powder. That's for the calcium? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I do have one bottle of OsteoFX liquid because I hear Dr. Glidden all the time saying he likes that better than the powder. Well, so do and I, and I, so does everybody I know. So you know what? what yeah, here's what I'd like you to that? try. What, what is that? <laughs> what? It doesn't have as much anything in it, though, does it? When you look oh, at yeah, it's, it's way better. It's way better. Take my word for it. The liquid's way better. Here, tell you what. I want you to pour an ounce of the liquid with some orange juice right before you go to bed. Okay? okay. One ounce of liquid Osteo FX right before you go to bed and see if things change. Okay? So it says okay. here that you, you want to know about arthritis and lupus as well. Well, you know what? That was for somebody else. Okay, well, let's get into it. You answered answer my question. Uh, I want to know what it is that eats the, the rheumatoid arthritis bacteria. Okay, well, that's easy. That's the, uh, the killer biotic. What's it, what is in it? I mean, what is the critter? That <laughs> it's, it's actually a toxin that goes around and kills little nasty microplasms in between the joints that are that are feeding on things that should not be there in the first place. And once you get on the healthy uh, bone and joint pack, you want to get rid of those microbes and you want to get everything moving and fix the connective tissue as I understand it. Now, I'm not a naturopath, but I will say this. I've seen success with it many times over. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, the only difference as far as I'm concerned is the uh, killer biotic. So, you know, get, get this person on the killer biotic about six a day, maybe three a day. How much do they weigh? How big are they? This gentleman is probably, I don't know, 5'10", and probably weighs 135, 40 pounds. He's in case, small. Yeah, try about three of them a day with uh, about two ounces of the liquid glucogel, right, with one okay. healthy start pack. And, and okay. get him on the liquid osteo FX. Okay. Liquid so he's going to need one healthy start pack, two bottles of liquid glucogel, and a bottle of killer biotic. Okay. And, okay. Uh, and uh, osteo, liquid osteo FX. Yeah, use that. Okay, now what if I can't talk him into doing this diet? Well, you know what? If you can't, here's the deal. A lot of people will come out swinging with uh, no gluten or or some of these other things. And I've actually found that sometimes that can be counterproductive, right? Like if you, uh, I had another guy that was talking to me, he was trying to help out a girl he knows, and he, you know, and he was, uh, he was in a tizzy because she had margarine in her fridge. And I said, look, she's got a long road ahead of her. Forget about the margarine, right? Okay. Try and get her to take, uh, take little steps at a time because you don't want to make the person feel too badgered. And mm -hmm. so, you know, if this person that you're talking about, maybe don't try so hard to convince them of the diet up front. You can mention it, but if mm -hmm. they can still get some nutrients into them and start feeling better, then they're going to be more prone to listen to you about the diet. Does that make sense, Sue? Yes, Sue? yes. Yes, yes, it does. That's what I would do. Okay. You got to, people are all different. You kind of got to, when you're talking to somebody, you have to feel out the situation and, and try to know best as you can who you're dealing with. Like if they're a person that has a positive attitude toward, you know, what's so-called alternative health uh, for years and years, they're going to be, they're going to be more apt to listen, right? But if right. it's somebody that thinks it's quackery, but they're at the end of their rope and willing to try anything, at That's least if you can... Yeah, at least if you can get some, even some tangy tangerine into him, get her to tr get him to try it, and if he does and starts feeling better, then he's going to have a more positive attitude. He's going to come back to you and yeah, you know, I feel better energy. I'm still hurting, but uh, you know, and uh, so if you can even just get them feeling a little bit better, then they're going to be the, more prone to listen to you. Should he do the 2.0 healthy star pack? Yeah, I would. Okay, because there's so yep. much more in that. that yeah, there, there's a healthy start pack now with the liquid osteo FX and the, and the new tangy. Just look for it in your back office. It's, it's brand new. Okay, and what about how, many, how much liquid osteo FX? 
an ounce a day of that and two scoops of tangy tangerine because there's only 32 ounces in a bottle of OsteoFX, right? So, yeah, if he's going to take it for a whole month. Yeah, he'll probably okay. get quicker results with two, but, you know, if you want to get him, you get him started out on one, and if you can get him two bottles of uh, the liquid glucogel in him and, and press upon him that it's a combination that needs to be there with everything. Okay. So, okay. yeah, it, but if he'll only try the tangy or whatever, go with that because if he starts feeling better, like I said, he's going to come back to you and, yeah. you know, want to hear more. Yeah. Now, listen, about your meetings, Yeah. I, I, I don't own a computer. We do not have a computer. So I went to a friend's house, and she pulled up on her laptop some of those DVDs that you talked about. Yep. Is there right. any way of viewing those before you spend $160 on six? DVDs. <laughs> well, because I'll, I'll tell you, you what, I have a little bit of trouble. Actually, I have a lot of trouble with the evolution stuff, and I don't want to have to be unexplaining things to people if I'm going to have these meetings. With evolution. Yes. Okay. Well, forget about that and and, and concentrate on the health effects because Dr. Glidden's religious views are his and his alone. And whether you're an atheist or you believe in God or whatever the case might be, this works. Bottom line. So, like I said. You know, talk to whoever you're with, and and uh, you know, I, I mean, if listen, if my child was dying of cancer and a Buddhist came to me and had some good advice, I wouldn't give a flying flip about his religious views. I'd want my kid fixed. Right, but I'm just saying, a lot of the books I bought all the books, and there's a lot, a lot, a lot of pages that's all mm -hmm. about, you know. Well, that's Dr. Glidden, and you know what? That's. That's his personal development to make him into the super awesome guy that he is today. So, you know, I mean, if somebody's going to reject the information because they agree, disagree with one personality trait of another person, listen, I'll tell you what, if I meet somebody that I agree with too much on, alarm bells go off for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's, it's all, the, the point of it is, and, and really honestly, it's going to be about how you present it. I mean, you've got to whet somebody's appetite for a better life. We're looking to get them out of bone and joint pain, not change their religion. Dr. Glidden's got all kinds of opinions that are his, right? We just want the results. So, you know, um, if, if, they're, if they're going to make that a sticking point, well, then fine. Be mad that Dr. Glidden believes in God and just go and suffer. And really, it's that simple. You know, I, I don't, you know, I, I'll talk to somebody for so long. And I won't waste my time past that because for, that, for every one of them that has some little stumbling block that they can't get over to get their health back, there's a million more out there that are going to listen. And I've only got so much time in this life and there's a lot of people to help. And so, you know, that's how I look at it, Sue. Right. But as far as looking at the, uh, if you want a good, if you want a good uh, idea of what's on those webinars, go to your friend's house with the computer and go on YouTube and put in Dr. Glidden against the grain. Okay, it's about it's about gluten, and it's the I believe it's the first one that he ever did, and they're way more professional now. So you'll get an idea, and he, he does it. You can see him in the corner, and there's a PowerPoint presentation, and the beauty of it is that he's an actual doctor, and he can explain the situations to somebody better than you or me. So all I do is gather up people that want to fix their health and say, look, this guy knows how to do it. And the ones that listen get their health back. The ones that don't, they go home and they stay in pain. And so, yeah. you know, it's a really good tool. So go back to your friend's house, turn on YouTube, and watch Against the Grain with Dr. Peter Glidden. If you want a good example of what's in those webinars, that's uh -huh. a good one, and it's free and available on YouTube. Okay. All right. Sound good? Awesome. Thank you. Thank All you, right, thank Sue, you. I've got All other right. customers okay. on the line. I've got to let you go. Thanks for calling. It's always good to hear from Sue. Uh, we're going to go over to Vanessa, Cindy, Nada, and Harry. Hang on. I'll, I'll spend just as much time with you as I did with Sue. Sound good? Let's go to Vanessa. How are you today, Vanessa? Hello, Vanessa. Hello. Oh. There you are. I was about to give you the one, two, three, but you came on strong. How are you doing, Vanessa? <laughs> I'm doing good. Thank you. All right. So what's on your mind today? Okay. My question is, what is the treatment for uterus fibroids? Okay. So I've seen that in my own family. And as far as I understand, you want to get that person, uh, the Mighty 90, of course, in a high 
ORAC value. And how you can do that, there's a couple different ways. Uh, the, the healthy brain and heart pack would probably be the best way to go. And you do one based on every 100 pounds body weight for this woman that you're talking about. If it's not you, it uh, doesn't matter. It's the same for everybody. And then what you want to do is get a high ORAC value into that person. And I'm going to get into that after this break, Vanessa. I hear the music, and that means I'll be back after this. Welcome back to Fire Your MD Now Radio. Mike Phillips filling in for Dr. Peter Glidden. Now, before the break, we were talking to Vanessa, and we're going to go right back to her. Now, I was just discussing the best way to get a high ORAC value and the best way as far as I'm concerned is the triple treat chocolate. It's got a high ORAC value so this person can take at least one or two pieces a day and then with that healthy brain and heart pack you've got the selenium and the Cell Shield RTQ. Selenium is absolutely essential in a whole lot of areas. Now you know, the Cell Shield RTQ, that stands for resveratrol, turmeric, and quercetin. And that's going to go a long way, in my opinion. And it's not magic. It's not, this is actual science. You know that Dr. Oz is actually up before Congress because he said he had a magic bean that caused weight loss? Are you there, Vanessa? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I kind of got sidetracked. Sorry about that. So you've been writing this down? Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. Okay, good. What, so, what did, are you, what did are you, you say after? What did you say after selenium? Uh, Cell Shield RTQ that comes in the healthy brain and heart pack. So Cell you don't shield. even have to worry about those things, right? You just got to okay. get that pack and get them in this individual and cross your fingers and see what happens. Now, like I said, we had various people in, or women in my family with the same problem. And mm -hmm. that is absolutely a thing of the past. None of the three women in my family that had the exact same problem have had any kind of uh, issues with that in the last three years. It just doesn't come up. When before, you know, there was surgeries, there was uh, all kinds of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and I've seen it work and... Uh, I hope that you do too, Vanessa. Where are you from? It doesn't even have your uh, location on here. Covina, Covina, California. Covina, California. Have, yes, one more question. I've also heard that people are using PDM, the plant mineral uh, derived, to use as a douche. Is that correct? Uh, I haven't heard of it specifically, but you know what? That's a pretty absorbable area of your body, and uh, it couldn't hurt. Like for infection, for infections, uh, in candida and things like that, uh, women are using the as colloidal silver, and that ha seems to have a big impact as well as an antibacterial. I'll tell you what, colloidal silver is absolutely amazing. If you've never used it, Longevity has a colloidal silver. I believe it's about five parts per million. Don't quote me on that. It might be about 15. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. if I, what I do is I go to a veterinarian, and they carry it for animals, right? And you can get it at 100 parts per million from a veterinarian. Now, that's, you know, in Canada, it's probably different in Covina. Probably a lot of things different in Covina than uh, central Alberta. But, um, the uh, you know, my, my son, Elias, uh, he got up the other day and he looked just terrible. And I said, what's wrong? He said, I, got, I think I got the flu. And I said, no problem, just drink this. And I gave him a, like a shot glass full of colloidal silver. And he went back downstairs and he came up in about 15 minutes, smiling ear to ear. And he said, Dad, my flu is gone. And, and you know, sometimes you'll get drastic results. So, you know, as far as that goes, if you're looking to knock out an infection or something, colloidal silver is the way to go. Now, there is some silver in the plant-derived minerals. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a person could use both, but, you know, you could just swallow yeah. the plant derived minerals, too. Yeah, I know. I, I heard if you do this with the PDM, it's good for treatment of the um, fibroids. That's very possible, Vanessa. It can hurt to try. Okay. All right. Is that all, all right. you got? Yes. All right, Thank Vanessa, you. I hope I was helpful. We're going to let you go. And uh, we've got just a few minutes before the end of the this segment. We're going to go over to Cindy in Saskatchewan. Cindy, in my home country of Canada, 
How you doing? I'm doing good. Right on. You know what? I just got to you and I hear the music. That means we got a hard break and you waited so long. And I'd like you to stick around, Cindy, because we're going to come right back to you. Listen to the news. Mike Phillips filling in for Dr. Peter Glynn. We'll be back after this. Welcome back, everybody. We're live. Mike Phillips filling in for Dr. Peter Glidden. Call in line is 1-844-374-5433. Now, listen, if you want to get hooked up with some people that can tell you how to use these products and dial in on something that you're having a rough time with, teamglidden.ca is my people. We're here for you. 1-800-705-6892. Once again, that's one 800 705 Six eight nine two. Now, before the break, we got Cindy on the air, and we got Nada in Idaho, Harry in Connecticut, and Dave, my buddy. Hang on, Dave. I want to talk to you, but we're going to go back to Cindy. Are you still there, and can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. That's great, Cindy. So what's on your mind today? Well, I'm wondering if you can take a liver clean when you've taken... I met before, like I was on True Hope. That uh, do you know what True Hope is? It's um, it's vitamins and minerals. And they always said you cannot do a liver cleanse while on that. But I'm now on your stuff, and I need to do a liver cleanse, and I'm wondering if I can. Well, you know, I've known people that have done it before. Um, I, you know, really, here's the deal. I'm for whatever works, okay? And if you're if you're going to do a liver cleanse, make sure that you are absolutely as nutrified as possible, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, but I strongly, strongly suggest that you get on the Longevity program, okay? Because you can you can do all the liver cleansing in the world, but if you have an under nutrified body you're still not going to be 100%. So my advice to you, Cindy in Saskatchewan, is to nutrify your body and, and you know, get to that place first. If you want to do the liver cleanse, I have absolutely no opinion on that. How's that? Okay, um, I'm on Young Jeopardy already. I take the ultimate classic. Oh, you're on it already. Okay. I th- I, you know what? I misheard you, Cindy. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you said you were on something else. So you're on the Ultimate Classic, and what else? And selenium. I take three selenium a day. Mm-hmm. And one ounce of the ultra body calcium. And three, e- three EFAs a day. Okay. And uh, like I uh, I'm with a doctor, and he said, you better do a liver cleanse, because... I have lots of stomach pain, and intestinal mm-hmm. pain, and he said that's where it's coming from. Your liver really needs cleaning. This is the naturopath you went to? Uh-huh. Okay, well, yes. I'm, not, I'm not actually going to contradict your doctor's advice. You know what I'd like you to do with this, Cindy? Uh, your, your naturopath knows your situation a lot more closely than I do, and this isn't something that I'm comfortable with getting into in a two-minute phone call on the radio. What Mm -hmm. I want you to do, Cindy, is I want you to phone back on Monday when Dr. Glidden's on because he knows a lot more about this than I do. And if your naturopath has an erroneous idea of what's going on, Dr. Glidden is a more qualified man to dial in on that than I am. Does that sound good to you, Cindy? Yes, it does. Yeah, I I want you to call back on Monday when Dr. Glidden's on with that one. Like, here's the deal with me. I'm not a naturopath, and I'm not here to string anybody along with something that I'm not 100% on. So Mm -hmm. the best thing that I can do for you is pass you along to the expert. That's why we have them. Now, I've got a lot of experience using these products and seeing people get their health back. But what you're asking me, I want you to present it to Dr. Glidden first. Are we good? Yes. Okay, now, would, uh, would taking more ESAs help with the liver? I take three a day. Yeah, they're not going to hurt your liver at all. And, and, and if you're taking the selenium, uh, that's mm-hmm. going to help your liver as well. So, you know, it could be, like, there's good doctors and bad doctors out there. There's good naturopaths and bad ones. It could be that this guy doesn't know his head from a hole. 
and it could be that he's on the right path, but I want you to ask Dr. Glidden about this, Cindy. Okay. All right? Mm-hmm. All right, thanks for calling, Cindy. We're going to let you go, and we're going to jump over to Nada in Idaho. Are you there? Yes. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm just great. Never been better. Fantastic. <laughs> What's up? Well, I ha have some serious issues going on with my husband. Um, okay. He had emergency surgery in February to remove a bleeding bladder tumor. And at that point in time, they diagnosed him with stage 4 prostate cancer and enlarged lymph nodes in the pelvic wall. And he started hormone therapy that same month. And But he quit the MDs and the hormone therapy this month. And he started taking the Ultimate Classic 90 and EFAs in February. And this February. We didn't find out about this until this year. But he did wow. like the taste, so he changed to Cherry Mims this month. And he also started taking Z Radical in March and Selenium. Mm -hmm. But last Saturday, he started having dry heaves and pains in his lower stomach and hasn't been able to eat normal since. And I was just wondering what you recommend. He, You know, he's been able to take some Z-Radical, but he hasn't taken minerals because his stomach has been real sensitive to what he eats. All right, for that, um, <clears throat> I would, if it were me... I would go with the herbal rainforest if it were me. Now, again, this is the kind of thing. Um, first of all, I'm really, I really feel for you, and I can hear it in your voice that you really love this guy. And this is another reason why we encourage people to, you know, try and get on board with things before they have a problem. But you hadn't even heard of us until. Just, you know, February, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, man, oh, man, that's a tough one. And, uh, y and so you want something that's going to help him to be able to eat, and he's having dry heaves. Is, is he taking the osteo-FX? No. Um, no, he isn't. Okay. All right. You so he's going to... You recommend osteo-FX? Yeah, well, we recommend that to everybody, right? Like, that's okay. part of the Healthy Start Pack. Now, with the, with the colon cancer or prostate cancer, I would like to say this. Um, you know, the, the tangy tangerine, they did a test on it at Clement University, and they found that it absolutely obliterated 98% of cancerous cells in the colon region. Okay? So... You know, that was that study's finding, and that, that had nothing to do with longevity. They just wanted to see what this stuff could do. So, you know, for, for the case of uh, that, I would switch over to the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0. That's the problem. He doesn't like, like it. That's why we had to switch to um, the Cherry Mint, because he didn't like the taste of the old Because he didn't classic. like it, yeah, yeah. Well... So. Yeah, I'm not sure what to tell you here because uh, this guy's got to get the ORAC value into him and he's got to neutrify his body. You know, the selenium is absolutely, you know, uh, the, definitely the way to go. You mentioned the Z-radical. Um, is there any way, let, let me ask you this, what if this guy was to, your husband was to load up on Z-radical, is he able to keep that down at all? Oh, yeah, how, uh, he has. I've been giving him some. How much? How much is too much? Because he's been taking three fluid ounces a day. Yeah, you know what? I, nobody knows. Like, there's, it's not going to hurt him. I've heard Dr. Glidden tell people if you can get it in a bottle a day. But really? that's a matter of whether or not you can uh, afford it, right? <laughs> so, but I have seen testimonies of people online, like if you go on YouTube... Uh, that have talked about overcoming cancer with just the Z radical. Mm -hmm. I have seen that. So, you know, that might be one way for you to go. Um, you know, if it were me, uh, 
I would definitely be getting as much Z radical into me every day, and I wouldn't even worry about it. I don't think it's going to hurt you at all. I don't think it's going to hurt him. Okay, Let's put it that so, way. So he he does have some of that candy that has orac in it. How much the chocolate did he have? Yeah. If yeah, he, about he, two pieces a day if he can get it down. A day. Yeah. Okay. And the the osteo FX um, the glucose gel can't be a substitute for that because I do have some of that. Well, is it the glucose gel plus? No, it's just glucose gel. Liquid. No, it's capsules. Capsules. Yeah, that's more of, more for connective tissue. We're looking for ORAC value. ORAC stands for oxygen rad radical absorption capacity. Okay, and you're gonna. That's why you want him taking the uh, the Z radical and the healthy chocolate, specifically the triple treat. There's there's a few other ways you can get the ORAC. There's the Cell Shield RTQ. Okay. Can you spell About, it for me? Cell Shield C E L L. C-E-L-L, -L, shield. Shield, R-T-Q. R-T-Q. Yep. The Immortalium also has a pretty good ORAC value, and it also contains Fucoidin, which is a, which is a potent cancer fighter. There's a lot of published studies on the effectiveness of Fucoidin. Can you spell All right. that for me? Uh, immortalium, I-M-M-O-R. T A L I U M. And fucoidin is the key ingredient as well in the Z radical. Okay. All right? Okay. And All right, Nada, listen, I want you to call back in and talk to Dr. Glidden about this. In the meantime, get this guy's ORAC value up. Your husband, I keep saying this guy, it's your husband. Um, get his ORAC value up as much as you possibly can. And also, uh, if I was you, I'd tell him, take the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0. I don't care if you don't like the taste. Mike <laughs> Phillips filling in for Dr. Peter Glidden. Thanks a lot for call. And we're going to go over to Harry in Connecticut and Dave in the Thumb in Harlan, North Carolina after this break. Right. Welcome back to Fire Your MD Now Radio. Mike Phillip filling in for Dr. Peter Glidden. And uh, some very interesting calls today. People are dealing with some really serious, tough issues. And that's why we're here. Now, a reminder, I'm not an actual naturopath. I'm a longevity distributor. And I guess you could say an aficionado. And I've used it to help a ton of people around me. But sometimes... There's the time when somebody needs a little bit of extra, and that's where Dr. Glidden comes in. Call in line 1-844-374-5433, 1-844-374-5433. Let's go over to Harry in Connecticut. Harry, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Mike. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right, man. What do you got? Hey, that's good. Uh, hopefully just a quick question. I'm on the uh, healthy sugar pack. Um, yeah. I added Z radical to it and also the selenium. And I'm mixing that uh, concoction in the morning instead of using the juice or water. I'm mixing it with like a pure aloe juice. And I'm just wondering if that is inhibiting the absorption in any way or is with that good aloe? Or bad? Yeah, just a pure no, aloe. And, no, in fact, aloe vera is just great for your small intestine and your gut. All right, great. No, I can't see it inhibiting it at all. Like, how does it taste? Um, well, I, I can I can tolerate some pretty nasty stuff, so for me it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so so it's not that good. So. <laughs> well, well, it's it's not too bad. I, I enjoy it. I like it. And okay. uh, yeah, one of your other listeners earlier uh, was asking about uh, Dr. Glidden's DVDs. I ordered yeah. a fortune theory set, and yeah. to her, I highly recommend her getting them. She doesn't have a laptop or not internet savvy at all. Um, she doesn't want to become an insider. Order the DVDs. Go buy a cheap DVD player. They're portable, battery operated, and just carry it with her wherever she goes. That's well, that's it. You can that, and that's you know what the TV that I use. I went and got a cheap one from Walmart. It was like I don't know two hundred and fifty bucks, and it's the one that I keep in my room. You know, for me and my wife laying around watching movies or whatever. And uh, like I just carry that. 
and it's got a built-in DVD player. And, you know, Dr. Glidden's, here's the deal. That $150 set of DVDs, um, you know, if I was using them to do what I did, and there was a couple of nights where I didn't have an internet connection, and thank God somebody in my downline, my little team here, brought the DVDs, and I just threw one of them in. And you know what? Nobody knew the difference, and everybody was just glued to it. So that, that $150 investment in your business as a longevity distributor could turn around and make you money going into 20 years from now. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And uh, yeah. I've only been uh, uh, young with longevity for, I don't know, maybe five and a half weeks now. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can, I can thank my uh, endocrinologist for that. Uh, my last visit, uh, my sugar levels were, I couldn't get it below the A1C of nine. Uh-huh. Um, so my last visit, he, he pulled out his needle of choice display, and that just killed it for me. So I went online, looked for uh, you know some solutions, came across yeah. Dr. Wallach. Anyway, uh, went on the uh, Longevity website, ordered the stuff. So I'd say after uh, my second week, I found Dr. Glidden online, uh, listened to some of his advice. And at that three-week point, and if you're listening, Dr. Glidden, I fired my MD. Yeah. <laughs> I'm off my, all my meds. Uh, my sugar level now, when I check it, the lowest I've gotten it so far is like 92. It's maybe 120 after I eat. Awesome. So anybody's listening and, and is just wondering, will this work? Does this work? Absolutely. I'm living testimony to that. Well, I'll tell you what, if Dr. Glidden's listening, he just punched a hole in the wall and yelled, hell yeah. Yep. Yep. So, I mean, that, that's the kind of stuff that we like to hear. And, you know, same, you know, these stories are all over the place. That's another thing. If you're out there listening right now, we've got new people listening to this show all the time. The show is absolutely getting huge. We get, you know, if you go look at GCNlive.com and look at the numbers, there's about five shows running simultaneously. And this show consistently whoops all of them. And, you know, like Harry in Connecticut here is saying, this stuff works. And it's not magic. It's not hokey. It's not any, it's just pure, easy science. And, like, how long have we known that chromium and vanadium will, you know, uh, fix blood sugar issues? Well, I knew for about three years only because, like Harry, you know, we had some health issues in my family that I was not satisfied to live with for myself or my wife and so I went and found an answer and boy was it ever the best answer I had. Harry hang on I want to talk to you just a little bit more. Dave in the Thumbs got a testimonial that I know everybody's going to want to hear. Mike Phillips filling in Dr. Peter Glenn back after this. Welcome back to Fire Your Detail Radio. Mike Phillips filling in for Dr. Peter Glidden. And I want to talk a little bit more to Harry. You say you just called the company and uh, got the product. Are you signed up under anybody, Harry? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. I, I signed up I because um, I was familiar with the uh, with the business, not longevity, but uh, networking in general, I mean, years ago. So I just, for the hell of it, spent the 10 bucks extra just in case. And then uh, I wish I didn't because then I found Dr. Glidden afterwards, but... Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Thank God he offers insiders. So You know what? You know what? Try, get in touch with your upline and uh, try, like, get some resources and learn this business. Because, like, we had a business meeting here just a little while ago. And I'm telling you, the more you look into it, the more attractive longevity becomes. Uh, wow. Longevity pays out, on average, about $72 for every $100 that go in. And if you stack that up against any other network marketing company out there is absolutely off the charts, right? So I really encourage you to look into that. And you know what? Keep doing what you're doing, Harry. Don't worry about that, Allo. I don't think it's going to hurt you at all. And it's been really great talking to you. We're going to let you go, and we're going to go over to Dave in the thumb. Dave, how you doing? Oh, I'm excellent, Mike. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, man. Can't you hear it in my voice? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Yeah, What's you on your mind since you have a testimony? I do, and I also uh, I, I, I got a couple of questions about my nephew. My, my brother and my nephews are listening in Texas, so I'll try to make this quick. Uh, in 1979, I uh, 
I broke my leg uh, in a car accident, and for 35 years, I've had this crack in my shin bone from my ankle all the way up to the top of my uh, my calf muscle on the side of my shin, uh, kind of the front side, and those are half inch deep. You could stick your finger in a half inch and fall, trace this jagged line down wow. my shin bone for 35 years, Mike. Uh, I've been on, well, I, I also want to start here. Um, when I started on these products in April of 2011, listen to Alex Jones, uh, we weren't taking all 90. We were just taking the, the uh, BTT, right? Same with and, me. Yeah, so I quit smoking and drinking while on the BTT before I went gluten-free. Now, from April of 2011, we didn't go gluten-free until uh, February 15th of 2013. Um, I lost about 50 pounds before I went gluten-free, but we went on the 10 bad foods list, and... Uh, I lost 100 pounds in five months and, huh. uh, you know, recovered from a fall down my basement stairs. They said they were, I had an 80% chance they were going to have to amputate my foot. So I've had wow. uh, five breaks in, in my right leg since 1979. I shattered my pelvis. Uh, I was up to 307 pounds. My knees were shot. They said I needed both knees replaced. I've injured my hands because I'm legally blind. I used to hit a heavy bag with no gloves, and it would swing, and I'd miss fire and, and jam my thumbs. And I had this pain like somebody was stabbing me with an ice pick, and both my thumbs where the thumb meets the in the, in the hand, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have zero pain in my body unless I somehow get some gluten in my body. <laughs> I have been pain-free. Uh, you know, my knees are all healed. Uh, you know, everything. And the only thing I got now is I'm legally blind. I'm still trying to get those 100,000 ORAC points in me every day. Uh, and, you know, I'm taking the Vision FX and the Selenium and all that. We, we take a lot of stuff, but uh, I'll tell you what, I'm, I just turned 55 on Father's Day, and I feel better than I did when I was 25. So for anybody out there, you know, on the fence, that, that anyway, that, that crack in my shin bone, I almost forgot where I was going, <laughs> filled in, Mike, it's gone. The crack filled in. Wow. <laughs> 35 years, half inch deep, 12 inches long, crack in my bone is gone. You're killing me, man. You, did, hey, did you hear that? Did you hear that girl that called in on Wednesday with her spine like seventy percent severed yeah. and is growing back? Oh my God, I, I got chills. That that is I awesome. know incredible. I know just incredible. So anyway, yeah, so my my nephew in Texas, he's, he's yeah. six foot four, three hundred twenty five pounds. He hurt his knee. He got scoped, uh, and they said his uh, the cartilage looks like shag carpeting. They didn't do anything. Um, and, but they told him he needs to lose some weight, and, you know, I'm thinking about a, uh, the, the new uh, Mega Combo Pack, uh, Healthy Bone and Joint for him, um, and uh, so he can start his uh, longevity business and, uh, and you know, get start getting healthy. What do you think? Well, I can't disagree with one thing that you just said there, Dave. I think it's awesome, and uh, if you're the nephew of Dave and the Thumb down in Texas, and uh, I know that you Texas boys are pretty tough. We got a lot of Texas boys up here in Alberta and vice versa. We're kind of, uh, Alberta and Texas share kind of a kinship because we have oil field equipment going back and forth. I've act actually worked on a lot of stuff that was bound for Texas. And listen to your uncle. You've heard everything that's happened with him. And you're far too young to be breaking down. And if your dad's listening as well, I'm telling you right now, you, you get on board with this because, number one, and, and this is the very best reason I can think of, Dave, very best reason, health, health effects aside, it really makes your women beautiful. It really does. Like a woman that is taking longevity products and following the 10 bad food list, they are just smoking hot. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? So, you know, you get your health back, and not only that, but uh, any guys listening, get your hormone health back, get your testosterone levels up, and see what you can be. 
Now, this guy, this nephew of yours, he sounds like he's a big kid. Yeah. Well, now yeah. the old Uncle Dave come along, he's going to lose a lot of weight. And, uh, yeah, get ready for the girls, buddy. Once your knees heal up and you lose the weight, they're coming. Absolutely. My wife has lost 100 pounds herself, and uh, she's down to 115 pounds, and all the girls <laughs> think she's, she's a model. <laughs> Dave, you're a lucky man, and you know what? Absolutely. Welcome to the club. Yeah, I hear you, brother. Thank you. Keep up the good work, Mike. We love you out here. You know what, Dave? Keep bringing people to the show and keep doing what you're doing, man. We love you, too, and uh, that's the thing. Young Jebedee's a big family, and uh, Dave is a prominent member. Keep calling the show. Keep talking oh, to your I family. Will. Yeah, keep letting us how you're doing. We're going to let you go, and we're going to jump over to Anna. She wants to talk about asthma. Anna, can you hear me? Okay, Anna, I cannot hear you at all. Please get a phone with a better connection so that I can hear you. We want to take your call if you're still listening. Uh, and also, Carla in North Carolina, she wants to talk about teeth and gums. I got a few things to say about that. We lost your call. Call back if you get a chance, and uh, let's talk. Let's go over to Dorman in Ontario, a fellow Canadian on the line. What you got for me, Dorman? Okay, um, I'm uh, living in close to Detroit in Ontario, but uh, I was listening to your program because I just got connected today, and, uh, like, I have a question to ask you. Like, I had a, a, a quadruple bypass almost a year, a year and a half ago, yep. and, like, I've been on this Lipitor drugs and, and a couple more, and I was wondering... Like, what can I take natural to get away from this? Because I, don't, I, I know that since I went on this Lipitor, like, my body is not functioning like it should. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and here's the thing. Like, the, the condition that was there previous to you having to have the surgeries and everything is still there. And it's not going to get any better because the drug is there to override a naturally occurring system. Now, we're not totally against drugs here. We're just against throwing them at everything and anything and hurting people with them. So my suggestion to you, Dorman, would be, uh, well, let me ask you a few questions first. How did you hear about us? I, my daughter-in-law, I, I was watching uh, Dr. What, it starts with a W on uh, Benny Hinn. Dr. Wallach, yeah. That's right, and that's where I heard about this. And, uh, like, I had some... Uh, like, uh, thoughts about this, like, you know, I, I heard a lot of history on Lip Lipitor, right? Yeah. And, and like, you know, and I'm, I read up on the computer, and I read up, and a lot of the symptoms that you have by taking that, I'm experiencing it. So when I yeah. seen this doctor on Benny Hinn, I said, man, I know now that this is the way to go. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Well, okay, here's the deal. So if your daughter... For your daughter-in-law there, she told you about this. Is she involved with Longevity? Yeah, she, well, matter of fact, I told her, but she signed up today. She oh, got good. Her, uh, yeah. That's great. And okay, she, so listen, is she listening right now? Well, she's out in the, the kitchen right here. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Do you have a pen? I do. Okay, uh, how much do you weigh, sir? I am about 175. 175 pounds. So, I want you to write this down. Two healthy brain and heart packs. Two healthy brain and heart packs. Okay? okay. Now, also, I want you to get a bottle of Ultimate Dailies. <clears throat> now, you're new to this. But the Ultimate Daily is essential for heart health, for kidney health, for thyroid health, okay? And so we don't just target the heart. This is a holistic operation. We're looking at the whole body here. We want to get everything working, okay? okay and it's say based... Say again. What, uh, uh, what was the last thing you said? Uh, Ultimate Daily. A Ultimate one bottle Day. of Ultimate Daily. Daily is in every day. Okay. Okay, so one bottle of Ultimate Daily. And, and okay. I'll tell you what, them Ultimate Dailies, there's some horse pills, man. They're big. Right. But you're going to have to take about four of those a day. Right. 
Okay? Now, what you're going to have to do with all of this, sir, while you're taking this stuff, you're going to have to really monitor your blood pressure. Okay? okay? Now, there's a few different products in that Healthy Brain and Heart Pack. Okay? And mm -hmm. here's the deal. You're going to have to mix them all up in some water, the powder and the liquid ingredients, and drink that over the course of the day. All right? Now, right. when after you order... It might take about a week or so to get your products. I don't know how it is in Ontario, but here in Alberta, it takes one week from the time we order to the time it gets here. So okay. while, you're, while you're waiting for that stuff to get to you, I want you to get yourself familiar with what we call the 10 bad food list. Okay? We want, when you take your supplements, we want you to be in a place where your body can absorb them. Okay, we don't want them to go straight through you. We want them to actually absorb into your small intestine. intestine. So, right. have you got a pan? Yep. Okay, I want you to go, have your daughter-in-law help you, go to fireyourmdnow.com. Okay? Fireyourmdnow.com, and you can download a list of 10 bad foods that nobody should ever, ever eat. Okay? I hear the music, okay. and that means we got a break coming up. We're going to go back to Dorman for the last segment and possibly get the van. We'll see what kind of time we got. Mike Phillips filling in for Dr. Peter Glidden. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to Fire Your MD Now Radio. Mike Phillips filling in for Dr. Peter Glidden. Now, if you want to get involved with teamglidden.ca, i got a number for you. 1-800-705-6892. A lot of times, people will order up these pro products, and they'll have a specific health issue that they want to talk about and they have no idea how to take them. They have no idea how to uh, use uh, what foods to abandon in order to maximize the absorption. They're just clueless, right? And it's not their fault. They're like a lost sheep in the wilderness. Well, if you want somebody to actually put their hand out and give you a hand with whatever it is and coach you through it, one 800 705 Six eight nine two. Mike Phillips filling in for Dr. Peter Glidden. We were talking to Dorman in Ontario right before that break. We're going to go back over to him, and then we're going to try and get the van calling for Anna. So, Dorman, uh, order up that stuff that I told you to uh, write down there, Healthy, two healthy brain and heart packs, and a bottle of Ultimate Dailies. And when you get your products, I want you to phone back into this show, whether it's me or Dr. Glidden on. And we're going to give you a few tips on how to take it, okay? Now, in the meantime, as I said before, I want you to go over to fireyourmdnow.com. Have somebody in your family help you if you have a rough time with computers. And I want you to download the 10 bad food list and get right on that. Okay, Dorman? Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. All right on. Keep in touch with us, Storm, and we want to know how you're doing, and we want to help you out. We're going to let you go, and we're going to jump right over to Van. Can you hear me, Van? Hello? Van, are you there? Okay, Van is gone. So at the beginning of the show, I was talking about Champex, and... You know, it's kind of a joke to everybody, these commercials. And we had this, this uh, soldier that is getting cleared of charges of, uh, you know, assault and careless use of a firearm because he was on it at the time that he choked his girlfriend and went running around with a gun. Well, I downloaded this commercial and converted it to MP3, sent it to the studio, and I want to play it for you. Now, listen to how nicey nice they tried to put it but listen to the actual warnings that they give you. Let's roll that clip. Clip is not working. That's okay. So, you know, psychotropic drugs, SSRIs. We were talking about just Champex, but that's just one class of an antidepressant, right? So I pull up this article on Fox News. Antidepressants in pregnancy pose little heart risk for fetus study shows so it doesn't matter that the uh, that the <laughs> the drug is gonna make you want to kill yourself or somebody else 
or have a heart attack. That's right. It's been linked to heart attacks and strokes. But I mean, you know, most of the people that they were testing it on or watching were probably malnourished in the first place. Remember, the, the genesis of just about any chronic disease is a mineral, vitamin, vitamin, and amino and fatty acid deficiency. That's why we work so hard here to get people neutrified. Because if you're crazy to begin with, or not firing on all cylinders, and then they introduce a serotonin reuptake inhibitor to that mix, because you told your doctor that you're not exactly quite right upstairs, things are going to get a whole lot worse. Well, I'm here to tell you, there's a better way. There's a better way. You can join Longevity. You can get your body neutrified. Get what you need and just see what happens. You all heard Dave in the thumb. He had some absolutely amazing health recoveries. And his nephew and uh, his dad are listening. And I really hope you can do the same thing. Mike Phillip filling in for Dr. Peter Glidden. It's been a great show. I really enjoy all your calls. I enjoy doing the show. And one last thing. God bless Canada. God bless America. God bless you. Philip out.